Oh, it's just batting. But uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know, we had to, you know, capitalise on the start that we uh, had from the bowlers. Um, the bowlers bowled fantastic, uh, reduced India to 160, and we had to go out there and, and play until the end of the day. And uh, you know, I thought, you know, if I can just keep backing myself and backing my game and have self belief uh, with me and Ed, um, you know, we, we're going to try and you know not lose a wicket by the end of the day, and uh, we're in a good position at the moment. Uh, no, you don't really ever want to go off um, for anything. And uh, you know, the physio said to me if I had a bit of blue vision and that, it was you know it would probably be silly to, to carry on. But um, but I was fine and just a bit shaken up. Uh, it's the second time being hit here at the Wacker, and uh, I just think I've got to try and keep my eye on the ball and um, you know just keep watching it at the end of the day. But um, but no, I'm, I'm feeling good now. We've got a nice golf ball at the back of my ear, but that's fine. Dave, did you go out there? Now I've always said uh, if the ball's in my zone, I'm going to go after it, and, and that's what I did. And uh, you know, if I kept on, you know, keeping my head still and my balance um, right, I'll, I'll, I was going to, you know, be in a good position there to, to score some runs and be a bit aggressive. You know, here at the Wacker, you're going to get value for your shots. So, you know, I just back to my game, back to my instinct, and uh, you know, I'm 100 not out. Uh, there was a rumour you were really struggling to hit the ball in the nets during the week, but the, the pace and bounce might bother you. How do you find it? Uh, it wasn't more the pace and bounce, it was more me um, with my head and my balance getting still. Um, JL and, and Mickey Arthur you know, said to me, if you look down the, uh, you know, the line and the axis of where my head was, I was always falling away and over my front leg. So you know, when the ball's coming you know, straight down the wicket, you, you want to try and get your head in line with the ball. And that's what I was um, you know, working on mainly this week. And uh, you know, I, I found it in you know, the last session, I wasn't going to have an optional net. I was going to stay at home. and. Um, you know, it's clear my mind, but I, I said to myself I really needed to go down there and have that last hit, and I hit for about two hours, I think, and, and I think uh, Craig McDermott was pretty buggered off, but um, <laughs> but because uh, the net bowlers, you know, they bowled the last two days, and, you know, you don't really want to grind the youngsters in the dirt, but, um, you know, credit to them coming down and uh, having the courage to bowl to us. David, tennis legend, you are landed in his final bid to win the Wimbledon tennis and lost to Australia, and said the grass is meant for the cows. Is it also... True for the Indians when there's grass in the wicket, Indians are. You know, it's funny that you say that because when we were out there and there's a bit of banter between uh, between Virat, uh, Ed, me, and Ishant. Um, you know, Virat was saying to us, you know, you can talk about your averages and uh, this and that, but uh, when we go to India, it's going to be a different story. And uh, at the end of the day, I, I just said to him, I turned around and said, mate, we'll probably average an extra 10 um, over in India because the wickets here are a bit lively and uh, over there they're a bit flat. But um, you know, at the end of the day, here you've got a lot of bounce at the whacker. So, you know, we've got to treat every game as it is. It's not, as, it's not easy for us as well, even though we've been brought up here. We're still, you know, we, we play one game here a year or two, if that. So unless you're from WA, you don't really know the, the bounce. Um, and obviously the wickets that we've been playing on have had a little bit in them. So... You know, at, at the end of the day, they got to come here. They got to, you know, they got all the resources there to practice as much as they can. So, you know, I, I can't fault our bowlers' efforts as well because they've bowled well, and you got to put the ball in the right area as well to get your results. Right, uh, Extension of the same question: uh, Did those words fire you up? Because it seemed you became very, you just switched into the tenth gear after those words. You really seemed pumped up. You and Ed both. Did those words by Virat and Ishan fire you guys? Yeah, it's funny that because no one said anything the last two previous games and I think a lot of teams, um, especially know with, with myself and Ed, if you start going to having a go at us, we actually enjoy that and we love a little contest out there and um, you know, we like to grind it back in their faces and you know, that's what we've done today and you know, we've got to come out tomorrow and, and respect uh, the, bo the bowlers again. So hopefully we can, you know, hopefully they know how to keep themselves quiet and then we can uh, carry on. Oh, if we won down at Hobart, I'd probably say Hobart. But um, you know, this is this is you know a, a great milestone for myself and achievement because you know I've, I've come to the WACA. I put doubts in my mind. I said to Mike Hussey the other day, I I've batted here a couple of times. I haven't really scored any runs, and uh, you know it, I turned around and I was today I'm 100 not out, but. I'd have to say this one by far because you know it's put us into a great position and you know we're two 0 up in the series and hopefully we can put you know four five hundred runs on the board and bowl them out again and take the series like that. It's going to be fantastic.